Welcome to the Wells Together video update. I'm Nicole Balza. Joining me today is Pastor Don Dapperstein, the new Director of Discipleship for Wells Congregational Services. Pastor Dapperstein, what does it mean to be the Wells Director of Discipleship? What are some of the different areas that you're coordinating? Thank you for having me. Um, I, I remember uh, when a couple months ago when I was holding uh, the, the call for the position as a parish pastor uh, in Florida, the thought that really grabbed me was the possibility of being able to serve my fellow called workers, you know, pastors, uh, teachers, staff ministers, um, who are in parish settings. Um, they, they have the same uh, ministry challenges. Uh, they're in need of the same resources as I was, mm -hmm. and yet the, they're looking to seize uh, ministry opportunities. Uh, to be able to be of encouragement, to equip them in their congregations uh, as fellow gospel um, called workers, uh, that means a lot to me, especially if, if our goal is one and the same, which is to uh, keep growing in the faith regardless of age, mm -hmm. and uh, also to serve the Savior, um, whether that be in our family life or in our congregational life. But as far as types of ministries, mm -hmm. that's been fascinating. Um, it is a, just a, a patch quilt of uh, different groups and uh, teams and projects and activities uh, kind of sewn together and yet reflective of various demographic groups and God-given identities. For example, a couple of weeks ago, I had the privilege of meeting with a Wells Women's Ministry uh, who desire to better serve the spiritual needs uh, of the women of our church body and to encourage them um, to be of service within their congregations. Uh, but then it's not just about men and women. Uh, what about married couples mm -hmm. for whom we offer marriage enrichment uh, weekends? Uh, what about parents? Or what about children? What about teenagers? It's made me realize uh, discipleship is just all-encompassing of the Christian life, whether that be in uh, you as a member of your family or uh, as a member of a family of God, which is your local uh, congregation. And so I've, I'm beginning to discover discipleship really is simply this. It's the daily life with God from the moment of baptism uh, as a toddler to a teen, uh, active adult, or retiree. Okay, wow. Well, with so many different areas, what exactly are you going to be focusing on as you begin your work? Discipleship is part of a larger group, um, and that group is constantly asking the question, um, with what do our churches need help? Okay. And uh, that may be in, in an area of worship or evangelism. Uh, maybe they want to start a, a, a compassion ministry. Uh, maybe it's a congregation that wants to do a better ministry planning. And so discipleship um, is asking the same questions. Uh, uh, for example, uh, what if a congregation says, we have youth, but they're not very active? And having a pizza night with them isn't exactly a plan for youth discipleship. What about the fact that many of our congregations do not have a comprehensive uh, uh, youth plan? What about the, the pastor who is looking to better lead a Bible instructional course, but he's looking at materials? Uh, what about a congregation that, in addition to uh, the Sunday morning Bible study slot or the ones that they offer during the week, what if they're, they're looking at small group studies, but uh, when it comes to resources, they seek discernment that, that is distinctively Lutheran? Um, what about the congregation that always struggles with the, with the question, we never seem to have enough people to get these things done? What about the congregation um, that is uh, uh, frustrated uh, with uh, trying to fill a Sunday school uh, teacher position? You can throw materials uh, at that person, but how do you train someone uh, to be able to teach? Um, what about a married couple that is looking to strengthen their marriage? Uh, what about uh, children or the uh, teenager who may be doubting their faith for the first time? What about the college student who goes away to a secular campus and for the first time now, uh, they're going to be trying to live their faith, much less share their faith. Uh, what about the congregation who wants to do something about closing the back door of losses that they are experiencing when it comes to family and youth? See, I, I believe there is a, a, a desperate need for ongoing quality resources 
that can be shared uh, in order to encourage and equip congregations and called workers. And so as part of uh, congregational services, our top priority is um, to create um, a, a central, uh, easily navigable uh, online resource, resource center that is filled with ministry materials that are quality, um, practical, and applicable. Chances are you're going to be hearing more about that in the coming year of 2018. Fantastic. Well, is there anything else that you think that Wells members need to know about adult discipleship or youth and family ministry? The doors are open. Uh, the discipleship doors are open. And, and, and I think I don't mean that as much um, at a center for mission and ministry. I'm talking about the doors of opportunity that, that are open in every congregation to be able to ask that question, what can we do and what do we want to do uh, about it. Sure. Um, if we want to disciple, in other words, uh, become better at discipling all the members of our congregation, um, whether that congregation has, um, is in a mission setting or a congregation of a couple hundred members, or how does that look like in that setting as opposed to a congregation with 500 or 1,000 members? So it's not about whether your church is large or small or uh, whether you're in a Midwestern setting or a saltwater setting. Uh, the, the question is, God has given us those opportunities. What can we do? The doors of discipleship are open to serve, um, and we are here to serve you, and um, we want to hear from you. Great. Well, thank you so much, Pastor Daberstein. The Commission on Adult Discipleship is beginning a new interactive faith Bible study that will run on Wednesday nights in January and February, beginning on January 10th. The study is led by Pastor D Daniel Haben and is titled Isaiah, God Confronts and Comforts His People. To learn more, visit wells.net slash interactive faith. Thank you for watching this Wells Together video update.